had to pass through the scary route of the haunted hospital. The story I am going to tell you today is about the haunted hospital of our town. The people of the entire town call this hospital a haunted hospital. The real name of this hospital is Victoria Hospital. This hospital was built by the British about 100 years ago. There is a graveyard in front of that hospital. My grandfather had told me that 60 years ago a girl had died during an operation in this hospital. Since then the soul of that girl wanders in that hospital. As soon as night falls, no person passes that way because the spirit of that girl troubles the passers-by. Although I did not believe much in the old ghost stories told by my grandfather. One night I was roaming on a bike at night with my two friends Amkit and Raju when one of my friends asked me to ride along the route towards Victoria Hospital. None of us believed much in ghosts and we made sure to go that way. At that time it was 10 o'clock at night. All three of us promised not to tell this to our families and set out on that path. As soon as we left that route, Our bike slipped due to sand on the road and all three of us fell away from the bike with a thud. It was fortunate that we were not injured. My friend Amkit, who was riding the bike, said that his balance was equal, then how did the bike slip? Although he was a little scared, my other friend Raju asked him to ride the bike. Now Raju was riding the bike. We had walked only one kilometer when suddenly the tire of our car got punctured and due to the high speed of the car, this time again the car started slipping further than the last time. This time we had some injuries on our elbows and knees. Amkit again said that there is definitely something wrong in this place, let us go back in the opposite direction. But Raju and I did not listen to him and picked up the bike and started walking. We had walked a short distance when suddenly we heard the sound of a girl screaming. Hearing this, we stopped and Ankit said, Dude, did you guys hear the screaming sound? We ignored his words and said that it must be the sound of some animal. After walking for five minutes the same scream was heard again. This time both of us started feeling a little scared. All three of us thought of going back but we were midway. There were 3 kilometers left to go back and 2 kilometers left to go forward. We thought of going ahead. After walking a little further we saw a woman under a banyan tree. Seeing a woman alone so late at night gave us goosebumps. We thought of turning back. Then the old woman shouted, Son, wait, tell me the way to the highway. We asked, How are you coming out this way at this time of night? So the old lady said, I live in a neighboring village and I don't have any money. So I set out on foot. My village is on the other side of the highway. We believed what the old lady said and moved ahead. On the way the old lady started asking us everything. The old lady was following the three of us. We three friends were now talking about ourselves. Then Raju said, look mother, your way has come and as soon as he turned back, there was no one there. All three of us were in complete despair. We started running vigorously, pushing the bike. While running, Amkit stumbled and fell and we heard loud screams. We also jumped on the bike and started running taking Amkit with us and reached the cemetery near the hospital. It was already 12 o'clock when all this happened. We were drenched in sweat and crossed the cemetery and stopped at a temple because if we had gone home without a bike, we would have worn shoes. That's why we stayed in the temple that night and in the morning we took our bikes to our respective homes and made the excuse of staying at a friend's place. After that night we never went that way. Even today I see that ghostly old lady and screaming voices in my dreams.